In the last video, I showed you how to build a full advanced to-do list application, and now it's your turn to take some of this knowledge from this advanced DOM section and apply it yourself. And most importantly, I'm not going to be giving you any hints or comments to lead you along the way. You need to take all the skills you've learned about how to think like a developer and apply it into this project. So let me show you exactly what this project looks like. On the right-hand side of my screen, I have the finished version of the product, and essentially all you want to do is make these expand and collapse buttons properly expand or collapse the section that they're inside of. And in order to do that, if we just look at the HTML, this is going to be the starting code that you can get in the description down below this video to download. You'll see here that we have a card object, which is just everything that you see inside of these elements. We have the header, which contains our title, and then an expand button, which is what happens. We want to make this trigger our collapsing or expanding. And then finally, the card body, which is the thing we want to show or hide. And in order to show our card body, we just need to add the class show to the body. And that's going to make it show. And if we remove that class, that is going to hide the body. So what I want you to do is to take this HTML and take the requirements that I just supplied to you to do this expanding and collapsing. And you're going to be starting with this HTML right here that does nothing and write out all the JavaScript that you need in order to get this final working product. In the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how I would solve this. And something to think about when you're doing this is to make sure to think about how this would work even if you add new elements onto your page dynamically through JavaScript. So make sure that your code works even if new elements are added after your code is ran. So take some time to build this out and in the next video I'll show you how it's done.